Hi guys, greetings from Hasrat Shah Jalal International Airport in Dhaka. I like saying that. One of my favorite airport um, names, Hasrat Shah Jalal International <laughs> Airport in Dhaka. Yeah. <laughs> I'm flying here with Paul. Paul, you're from Hong Kong? Oh yes, uh, hi, hi everybody, I am from Hong Kong. Um, yeah, it's actually uh, Obed, he's, uh, he's training me today. Yeah, I'm trying to, to get on uh, this fleet from uh, 777. Yes. Yeah. So how are you liking the 74? So you've done your first sector very nice landing, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Well, thanks very much. And then yeah, I, I enjoyed that because I was uh, I've been here before. That was 13 years ago. 13 years ago, yeah. And uh, and the, I was on Triple Seven for quite a long time. So yeah. back here, and I, I love these aircrafts. And uh, this is uh, I'm queen of the skies. Yes. So coming can't, can't be better. Can't yeah, be better. I, I love it. I yes. Love it. Yeah. Me very too. Good. So you know one of the things we do in the airplane that we check, obviously. Everything is about preparation, as I've told you before. Now, one of the things we do that's very important is to do an instrument cross-check. So, pre-flight checklist. On the pre-flight right. checklist, I'll just show you here. We're gonna do it together here with Paul. There's some things here. We've got a paper checklist on this airplane. So, let's have a look at the pre-flight checklist. The first thing it says is oxygen. We've already done that. So, let's do the flight instruments. Okay, guys. So. We're going to do an instrument cross-check and uh, Paul is going to start off with the instrument cross-check and I cross-check it as well. Instrument cross-check, Captain Paul. Right, so it's the heading. Heading is 234, 234, and the standby is 234. Altimeter is 1006, 1006 gives me uh, seven, uh, 60 feet and standby 1006 gives me 70 feet. Okay. So. I've been checking those on my instruments to see how far off they are with mine as well. The captain's and the first officer's uh, instruments, uh, altimeter, should be within 35 feet of each other. 35 feet. And then the altimeter itself should be within 75 feet of the airfield elevation. So the elevation of Hazrat Shah Jalal is 27 feet. So if I look at this, 1006 is giving me just on 70 feet, which means we're within 75 feet. We're about 50 feet away, which means those altimeters are valid for us to use. It's important for the uh, validity of the altimeters because remember we fly in reduced vertical separation minima or RVSM. So that's the instrument cross check done. We're ready to go. If for some reason the instrument cross check was outside the limits, we would cross-check the uh, Q&H again with ATC just to make sure the Q&H was correct. Sometimes it needs an update and usually when you go back and check what the ATC is, you find the Q&H has been amended and it brings you within the limits. If it's definitely out with limits and we have to call maintenance, avionics will come up, check it. Sometimes you have to maybe ADD a part and maybe even change an instrument if there's a problem with it. So pretty important to have the right instrumentation working. That's part of the pre-flight. Later.